So I've just been making a video about some management stuff. And I thought while I was making it, I'll just make a little quick one for you to talk to you about audio and the importance of audio when you're making videos. Now I'm making this video and I'm switching between two cameras. I've got a posh 4K 10 bit camera with a nice expensive lens on it recording over here. And then I'm recording into my phone on that camera over there. But one of the things you'll notice is consistent between the two is the audio. Now, people get very excited about 4K and image quality and all that kind of stuff. I just wish people would get more excited about the audio. Let me show you what I mean. You're currently listening to me through a, uh, a lav mic, which is here, that's plugged into a device that connects to the camera. What that means is the sound of my voice is very close to the microphone, and that means the audio is good. Now, even if the video is recorded in substandard video quality, I'll have done something to the video here to make it look like that. Um, because the audio is good, it means that you will still keep people's attention. But watch what happens when I switch it over. So now this is the 4K, 10-bit um, uh, log footage with an expensive lens on an expensive camera. But I tell you what, if I carried on talking to you like this, I'm fairly confident you wouldn't listen for very long because the audio is rubbish. And subconsciously, we know when the audio is bad that it's an unpleasant experience. And you don't want to be making videos that are an unpleasant experience for your customers or your clients. So here's a couple of tips. The first tip is if you're recording on a phone and that phone is quite far away from you, if you can get a device, this one's called a, a Rode Wireless, and uh, I'll hold it up to the camera here. They're not particularly expensive. Um, <clears throat> I think you can pick them up for about 100 quid. It's a really solid investment because what it means is you're getting the microphone close to your mouth. And that's what makes a difference as far as audio is concerned. Because when the microphone's close to my mouth, it sounds like this. When the microphone's far away and it's on the phone, it sounds like this. And again, you won't really get people paying attention for very long. Now, if you're making a podcast, um, whether that's an audio only podcast or a video and audio podcast, this is critical. Because people will really pay attention to the sound. And if the sound sounds like this, you might be all smiling and having a nice conversation and all that kind of stuff. But again, people aren't really going to be very happy to listen to that for a long period of time. But if the video is suboptimal, if the video isn't quite right, but the audio is really good, you'll get away with it for longer. Now, obviously, if you can make both great, happy days, but it doesn't need to cost a lot of money. Three things that are worth doing. First of all, get the microphone as close to your mouth as you possibly can. Secondly, if you can, record that audio into something different to the camera. Third tip, if you can't get the microphone close to your mouth and you can only record into the microphone on the camera um, or your device, there's lots of software out there like Reaper or Audacity that's free that you can use that can at least, you can do a bit of work on the audio and get the audio sounding a bit okay. I've taken this really bad audio that's recorded on here and now I've applied a little bit of processing to it, a little bit of um, zhuzhing it up. Uh, I won't go into the boring technical stuff and at least it sounds a bit more acceptable. It sounds a bit better. So next time you make a video for your people, please think about the audio as well. It makes a big difference. Much more difference than a posh, expensive camera, I promise you. Or an iPhone. <laughs> See you later.